It was Sooner Basketball Alumni Day. Big names like Chu Kennedy and Skeeter Henry were back to be honored as OU was taking on number 24 ranked Baylor Bears. OU freshman Tiny Gallon had a huge first half, outplaying one of the best front lines in the Big 12, scoring six of OU's first 10 points. OU led 10-4 early. Sooner stretched her lead twice to 10 points, Tony Crocker hitting the baseline jumper. OU was up 19-9. Sooner shot 43% in the first half. Tiny had 17 of his career-high 23 points and 15 rebounds in the first half. But late in the first, Baylor's Epe Udo, who played his high school ball at Edmond Santa Fe, had back-to-back -back layups. Bears up by one at the end of the first. The second half was not kind to OU, shooting just 25% from the field. The Bears clawed to an eight-point lead. OU's other big man, Ryan Wright, also had a career day scoring 14 points, five boards. Here, getting the jam and the foul as OU led by one, 56-55, with just five minutes left to play. But Baylor took the lead right back on this lace Darius Dunn three-pointer. Bears never looked back, beating OU 70-63, handing them their sixth loss in a row and winning in Norman for the first time since 1977. Uh, but it was just one of those afternoons where we couldn't make shots. I, I didn't think we played smart at times. I thought we did a very good job early of attacking their zone. Um, uh, but I just don't think we played really smart. Uh, at times on both ends of the floor, offensively and defensively. The thing that our guys have to understand and it's something, you know, we've been telling them for a while and I probably sound like a broken record to them, but, you know, we're a team that we have to do the little things at a very, very high level. They're huge things for us and uh, that's something we've been very inconsistent at. Um, it's real tough, you know, especially, you know, um, we're not the biggest team in the world, but I mean, they got it. It's like everybody on, like all their postmen is like six, eleven, seven foot. So, you know, and their and their zone is very big. You know, but it's it's a lot of holes. I mean, it was a lot of holes in their zone, but a lot of people try to take it to the rack, and it was just like a block show down there. But one of the big kind of emphasis that we try to do is just go at them. You know, um, one of the one of the biggest ways you can take their post guys out of the game is to go at them. So uh, that's what that's what all the bigs try to focus on this week in practice is, you know, trying to take the ball strong and go at their chest. You know, they obviously got a lot of blocks tonight, but, you know, we felt like a lot of them were fouls. Some of them got called, some of them didn't. So we just had to just keep playing and just keep going at them. You know, unfortunately, we didn't get the win, but um, that was just our whole offensive game plan right there. Tommy did not shoot the ball well today, and I thought he got some good looks. Uh, Cade didn't shoot the ball well today. I thought at times he got some good looks. I thought both of those guys got down on themselves. Um, and, and that can't happen. You know, you have to have the mentality, I'm going to make the next one and not put your head down, but, you know, to come back. You know, the more you do that, you're thinking about the last one. Then that last one, what you're doing is that you're letting that last one affect the, affect the next one. And, again, that's another little thing, but it's a huge thing. It's just being mentally tougher and being able to fight through and play through stuff. Mm -hmm.